Despite the scholarly controversy, Aztec legends relate that they first emerged from a supernatural place called the Seven Caves. From there, they journeyed to Aztlan, an island in the middle of a lake. It is from Aztlan that they took their name Aztec. From Aztlan in the year 1116, they began an epic 200-year odyssey. the Israelites of the Bible saw themselves as a chosen people searching for their promised land. According to Aztec legends, the command to set out on their journey came from their tribal deity, Huitzilopochtli, the god of the sun and god of war. As the tribe wandered, the high priests carried an effigy of Huitzilopochtli with them. When their god spoke, they obeyed. But how did he communicate with them? Uh, supposedly this image actually spoke to them in their language uh, but spoke through the medium of the priests and then the priests would transmit this message and the original message was now you must leave Aslan you must migrate to the south but and you must obey my commands but I promise you this great destiny uh, I promise you the world in the year one flint knife 1116 AD a band of Chichimex known as the Mechica left their island home of Aslan in search of their future. They traveled south, led by Huitzilopochtli, their god of war, who promised them that they would one day become lords and kings of all that is in the world. Early in their journey, they came upon Curved Mountain and rested there, but their leader, Huitzilopochtli, commanded them to continue on. The Mechica roamed the wild, dry country full of thorny plants, serpents, and jaguars. One day, they came upon a beautiful garden in the midst of this desert. They settled down, built a small temple, and feasted on fruit and vegetable. But the great tree that shaded the garden split in two. The Mechica, who know that this was an omen of bad things to come, were forced to move on. They wandered for a long time and encountered locusts, famines, plagues, hailstorms, and many other hardships. After many years, they found their way to Green Valley and Lake Texcoco. Here, the Mechica stopped once more and settled near the freshwater spring of Grasshopper Hill. But, when they angered the Caldwell Counts by murdering and flaying a young noblewoman, they were forced to move yet again. This time, they had no place to go but the weed-filled swamp of Lake Texcoco. Their leader, Huitzilopochtli urged them onward. He told the tribe to look for an eagle perched upon a cactus that had sprouted from a rock. He told them this would be a, the place where their wandering would end for good. They found this eagle on a small muddy island in Lake Toscoco. And though the island did not seem to offer much, the Mechica built a city there and named it Tenochtitlan.